While Overwatch was in development, the game was originally intended to feature a talent system, where the player could spec out their character over the course of a match. However, this was eventually cut from the game because the developers thought that this would be better if the player could easily and quickly identify what other heroes could do, rather than having to study them closely to know what talents they may have chosen. When you first hear his voice, you may think that Bastion is just making machine noises and nothing more. However, what's actually going on here is that we're actually hearing the voice of Chris Metzen, just heavily edited to sound more machine-like. During development of the game, Blizzard employees would frequently get a bit perfectionist and focus on one thing for a bit too long. Developer Renaud Galland eventually decided that something needed to be done about this, so he came up with the brilliant idea to have a button that made a sound whenever he pushed it. So, for example, an employee starts spending hours and hours on one small aspect of the game, trying to get it absolutely perfect. Renaud Gallon would then approach this employee, and press the button, which would then play a certain popular song from Disney's Frozen. Eventually, this became a sort of Pavlov effect, whereby every time the button was shown, the employees would just say, You know what? I think it's good enough. There are so many voice effects in this game. Flow like water. Give yourself to the rhythm. I'm back in black. I'm an army of one. The power of science. Around 7,000 to be precise. But let's not forget here that there are about 12 playable languages for Overwatch. So that basically means that in total, there are around 84,000 voice lines. Every day during development, the dev team would have meetings at 10am, followed by playtesting until 11am. However, the game was so much fun, that the developers would frequently lose track of time and end up playing the game for many hours longer than they should have. Basically, Overwatch was delayed because it was too much fun. Bastion is a hero that has gone through many changes throughout the game, and at one point, he even had a shield. A flipping shield, I mean seriously. But anyway, the thing that has changed the most about Bastion is his ultimate ability, which has had around 50 different versions over the course of development. At one point, it even allowed him to fly around and shoot whilst having his shield up. Let's just all be thankful that he isn't like that to this day. Whenever you hit someone in game, I'm sure that you've heard a little pip sound, but have you ever wondered what that sound is? Well, it's actually the sound of a beer bottle being opened in reverse. Over the course of his development, Reinhardt was tested with many different ideas for his E ability, including a version which allowed him to throw his hammer and have it curve around and return to him like some sort of boomerang. The developers decided to not use this version, as it wasn't realistic, and it rendered the hero useless for a few seconds. In the end, the developer settled on a shockwave type attack, and that's how we got the E ability that we use today. I'm sure that some of you are probably wondering, what did Overwatch originate from? Well, in the beginning, the developers were actually working on a different project known as Titan, which was supposed to be the new successor to Blizzard's popular MMO, World of Warcraft. However, late into development, Titan was cancelled, and the team members split up to work on other Blizzard projects, such as World of Warcraft and Diablo. Some members, however, remained with the task of designing a new game, and at one point, they realised that the FPS market was thriving, but still had room for innovation. So these developers decided to design a new FPS that took place in one grey room with only one playable character, which was of course Tracer. The developers liked this idea and decided to expand on this concept, and this project would later be recognised as Overwatch. On the map Dorado, there is a large amount of Spanish text, and assuming you can't speak Spanish, then you are probably wondering what it all says. Well, the first piece of text, which says Energia Limpia para todo Mexico, means clean energy for all of Mexico. The fountain in the centre of the market has four pieces of text, which say, in honour of those who died in the dark, reborn in the light, and never forgotten. Even the darkest night gives way to dawn. There is also a newspaper on the ground, which reads Tomorrow Festival of Light, 
and there are many more of these which may not be very important. However, there is another newspaper which reads, Who is Sombra? Now, this one is quite interesting because many people suspect that the next hero to be put into the game will be Sombra. This is not all because in the final Defenders spawn, there is a table with three folders on it which read Jack Morrison, Soldado76, and Sombra. So could this be an early teaser for a new hero? Only time will tell. That's it for this list guys. If you have any recommendations for future videos, then let me hear them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.